it's Apari here and welcome back to another brand new Animal Jam video and in today's video I'm just gonna be having a lot of fun on Animal Jam while I talk to you guys about a few things that I found in the Animal Jam community to be quite interesting to me lately and I think that you guys will find them interesting as well so yeah let's just get right into this video and the first thing up is that AJHQ is actually right beside me right now coincidentally and they're wearing the brand new Rarita Monday that looks absolutely amazing like seriously look at that it's two orange tree branches with golden leaves sticking off of them and I just love this so much except I think it's a little bit late because doesn't it look like a fall kind of item to you guys but instead animal jam released it like during the winter time so that's kind of bad timing on aj's part but i'm just gonna say real quickly to ajhq i love the new rim and wow i didn't type it in capital letters so now i don't look as excited as i actually am but yeah ajhq did an amazing job on this variety on monday i mean it just looks amazing and i think i'm gonna be able to make a lot of good looks with it and look at that emoji that animal jam hq just did ajhq is blushing because i complimented them that is just so cute but yeah i'm not sure if that's an item that's in the diamond shop or the the Epic Wonders place, so let's go check out the diamond shop first and see if it's in here. And if it was in here, then it would be obviously in the clothing section, so let's click on this, and no, it's not in here. But dude, look at that! There's a candy sword! Oh my god, that looks so cool! And it also looks like the alpha sword that you get for getting every single adopt pet on the adopt pet checklist, which by the way, we will be talking about later on in this video. But then there's also some candy bow and arrows which look amazing as well, and I just have to buy one of these, so let's go ahead and just get an orange one since I'm gonna be buying the Verita Monday as well, and that's orange, so they'll go together nicely. I think and now let's go to epic wonders where I'm assuming those branch antlers are gonna be because I don't think that they're a normal store-bought item So let's make my way downtown to the top hurry up hurry up hurry up make them away downtown. And where is it? Oh my god, where is the branch antlers? Oh, there they are. Look at them guys. Look at them. Those look so cool Oh my gosh, I love them like the oranges go so well together and imagine if I got an orange beard onto this look as well That would look crazy So I need to ask someone around here for an orange beard because I only have a gray one and a brown one because I never thought I would have a use for any other beards, but I do now Oh, and hey, look at that. AJHQ followed me up to the Epic Wonders. They must have known that I was gonna buy the Rarita Monday. But I need to ask everybody now, does anyone have an Orangi beard? Does anyone have an orange beard, please? Can someone please give me an orange beard? And yes, yes, everybody's saying that they have one. This is good. This is very good. So I will have options if someone declines my trade. And my friend Lee Rock said that he has one. So hopefully he puts it on his trade list or just trades it to me. And wow, look at all this art that's on his trade list. Let's check it out. And this one says the Christmas crew. And look at it. It's just a bunch of famous jammers. That is awesome. Awesome. So it's Lee Rock's 10 on the side, and then there's Wisteria Moon right next to him, and then I'm right here, Apartheid, and then I think that's Wootmoo, Bepper, and Julian too. So that was pretty cool, and what is this art piece of? Oh, this one's actually wicked realistic. Like, I could never make faces like that in the Masterpiece place. And then finally, he has a Masterpiece of Grumpy Cat. That is amazing. Like, I want to trade for this Masterpiece, so let's see what he will accept for it. And I will give him this random Pokemon Masterpiece that I have, so hopefully he accepts that. And it said he can't trade right now. Okay, then. But back to getting this orange beard. I need to get an orange beard from someone so i'm gonna ask lee rocks to put it on his trade list lee rocks please put the orange beard on your list and what the heck why was that blocked out of all the messages in animal jam why was that message just blocked from the chat system i mean like what the heck i was just asking him to put something on his trade list but apparently animal jam doesn't accept that so let me just try saying put the orange beard on your trade list maybe that might work and yes it did thank god because i did not want to have to type that out again so hopefully lee Lerox puts it on his trade list. But in the meanwhile, I just randomly went to my Jammergrams and got two Jammergrams from AJHQ. So let's go ahead and open them, I guess. This first one says, here's your auto XD AJHQ. And look at this. It's a cute little masterpiece of my man. Look, that's amazing. And on the right side, it says, it's a me, a Pario. So it's like, it's a me, a Mario, but it's, it's a me, a Pario instead. And then AJ said, here's another painting of you. We get so many XD AJHQ. And oh my God, that one actually looks really good. Thank you so much, Animal Jam HQ. Because now I can make my fan art while even bigger in my den but let's see if lee rocks 10 put the orange beard on his tree list and no he didn't wow lee rocks just wow i guess i'll just have to get an orange beard from someone else so i'm just gonna check around for a different trade list oh guys oh wait lee rocks just told me he put the orange beard back on his trade list and he did so there we go he has the orange beard on his list and now i'm gonna trade him a den beta for it just to make sure that he accepts the trade so yes he accepted he accepted let's go let's go we got the orange beard and now i just need to put it on my outfit and there it is guys now the only thing left to do is just change my colors around and yes, there we go. That looks perfect. I love it. So there we go. This Christmas outfit is pretty swag if you ask me. And oh my god, I'm just noticing this now, but look at how many people are in Epic Wonders. Like, 
I don't think I've ever seen this many people in Epic Wonders before. But anyways, now onto the next topic that I wanted to talk about in this video with you guys, and that is about an edit that someone actually posted on Instagram a little bit ago of a really cool idea that Animal Jam could add into the game, and I really wanted to show it to you guys and get your opinions on it. So I'm gonna put it up on the screen right now, and basically what it is is that it's a secret Santa, and if you guys don't know what a secret Santa is, it's basically where you choose a random person to secretly give a gift to, and then on Christmas Day, you open up the gift from your secret Santa, and you find out who gave it to you, and it's like a really cool idea, I think. And I just think that this would be a great idea for Animal Jam to add into the game, because then on Christmas Day, everybody can log on and receive all their gifts from their secret Santa, and along with their real life gifts, also have some Animal Jam gifts from their buddies and stuff like that. So let me know if you guys like this idea in the comment section down below, because I think that it could be a really cool thing if Animal Jam actually did it right. And all credits for this edit, of course, go to the maker of it, which is kalanjama.yt, and I will be putting a link to the post in the description if you want to go check it out for yourself and maybe even give her a follow. But anyways, guys, now let's move on to the last part of this video, which is probably going to be the most intense part, because guess what, guys? Guess what? I have some huge news to share with you guys that is actually crazy involving the Alpha Sword. And if you guys don't know what the Alpha Sword is, basically, it's an item that you can get by adopting every single adopt -a pet toy that there is, and as you can see, and as you can see, my friend Lee Rocks 100 actually accomplished this, and he adopted every single one of the 96 adopt -a pets in the first series, and here they all are. And if you guys think about it, it is just absolutely insane and almost impossible to adopt every single one of these pets, unless you are willing to spend a ton of money, because each one of these adopt -a pets I'm pretty sure actually cost $3, and if you take 96 and times that by 3, you get $288, but that's just assuming that you get every single adopt -a pet here without getting one single duplicate, which will probably not happen, and you have to be insanely lucky for that to happen. So if you take into consideration all of the duplicates that you're going to get, which let's just say you get 50 duplicates, that's going to be around 150 adopt -a pets that you adopted, and 150 times 3 is $450. So this Alpha Sword is no joke, guys. Like, it literally costs real-life money to get, and here it is on Lee Rocks, and I'd say it definitely costs at minimum about $400, and $500 if you're really unlucky and get a lot of duplicates. And the reason that we're talking about the Alpha Sword right now is because I just got proof that another person actually bought all the adopt -a pets and now owns another Alpha Sword, so there are now two in the game, and I found out that person from an Instagram post that I was tagged in from Dusted Rose 19 I believe her name was, and I'll put that post on the screen right now so you guys can see it, and the username of the guy that got it is him, so if I look him up, we can open up his pet category and then click on his checklist here, and you can see that he actually has all 96 of these pets, which is crazy. But the strange thing is, is that there's also another tab right beside the series one tab that says treasure. Let's get a little zoom in on that. And if you click on the treasure tab, there's only one animal on it. That is a flutter panda. And in the top right corner, it says that it's the only one in the set. It says one out of one, unlike the series one tab where it says 96 out of 96. So I don't know what this other tab is or how this person got this panda, but I'm pretty sure that's like a wicked rare one because I've never seen it before. And also it's the only pet that exists in the treasure category. So let me know if you guys have seen this pet before because I certainly haven't. And the alpha sword is really hard to see on this person's outfit because it kind of just blends right in. But if you look closely, I'm pretty sure that this toucan is wearing the alpha sword. And I am just crazily obsessed over this item because I think it's so cool how you have to get every single adopt -a pet to get the alpha sword. And if you ever get one, that just shows how dedicated you are to Animal Jam and the actual game itself. Because that means, like I said, that you literally have to buy more than 96 adopt -a pets, which cost $3 each to unlock it and actually get it. But then that brings up the question that a lot of people have. And that is, that is the is wrong to make people buy that many adopt -a pets just to get an item in the game because most people would probably argue that all of these digital items aren't worth anything and they don't have any like money value attached to them and also some people might think it's unfair that only the people that have a lot of money can get that item so I don't really know but let me know in the comments what you think about this and what do you think about Lee Rocks and him's having an alpha sword and with that being said now let's hop right into today's daily giveaway so today I'm going to be giving away a yellow eye tiki mask in the comment section down below which by the way I think matches this look perfectly and all you have to do to have a chance at winning it is just one leave a like on this video which you must do because i will be checking if you leave a like before i pick you as a winner so make sure you punch that like button right in the face and then number two after you're subscribed to this channel click on the little bell besides the subscribe button and then click on send me all notifications for this channel so you never miss when i upload because that would just be tragic and then lastly leave a comment down below telling me your thoughts on anything that i talked about in this video whether that be the new raid on monday the secret santa edit or the fact that another person got the alpha sword and now i want to announce the winner of yesterday's daily giveaway just so you guys know that i am giving away the items that I actually give away on my daily giveaways. And the winner of yesterday's daily giveaway was Jesse the Jester, who was the winner of a long black rare spike collar. And also it looks like this is their first ever rare spike collar that I'm going to be giving them. So that's pretty cool because I always love being the person to give someone their first spike. So there you go, Jesse the Jester. And wait, what the heck? It's glitching. I have to just type a message. There we go. And yeah, that's pretty much about going to drop it up for today's video, guys. But if you made it all the way to the end, then leave Jamal Day socks our swag somewhere in your comment. I don't really care where. And as always, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button right in the face and I'll 
see you guys in my next video. Peace out.